Good evening all. It's actually 10.45 on a Monday evening. Don't know if that sounded anything like Boise on Only Fools and Horses. Wasn't actually intended, that's just how it came out. Anywho. So it's going to be a bit of a, a sort of technical, mechanical vlog. Or at least... Uh, that's what we're going to be talking about. Uh, excuse me. Still got, oh, I've completely forgot I had that there. I've got to table that up and put the dress on it ready to be posted in the morning. Uh, I've got three batteries here. <laughs> One on the drill. They're all charged. I started charging them last night. Two are actually my stepdad's because he's got a similar Bosch drill to that one. Except his doesn't have a little LED light in the base that shines up onto the end of the drill. So you can see what you're drilling, you know. Um, but the batteries are identical in the same voltage. I've charged them up to see if the ones with that drill are actually any better. Because he's never used his. He just got it from the recycling centre. And it's just sat in the box ever since, in the carry case, I should say, ever since. Uh, I've also bought a few bike bits up from the shed. There's a nice little rear light there. That's very tempting to stick on the bike in the bedroom, which I'll show you in a minute. And I've also got some parts for the bike in the bedroom. Actually, for both bikes in the bedroom, that's for the mountain bike that I've been working on for someone. So are those. I forgot I had those. Little uh, cable ends. Oh, I love those because it stops the ends of brake cables and gear cables from fraying. And that is as annoying as hell. Because they hurt. Especially when you catch yourself on them. There's my Ace Aspire. I've got that working again. Uh, <laughs> basically what I did. I took the hard drive out. Because I couldn't get this to boot from the um, USB CD drive I had connected. So I took the hard drive out, connected it to my Windows 7 machine over there, installed Windows 10, and I think I'd messed around with something in the BIOS, um, but put the hard drive back in, and it wouldn't boot. It kept coming up on screen saying, no bootable device. Um, so I just went, or well, this evening, no, not this evening, today I went into this... No, I got that wrong again. It was yesterday... I went into the BIOS on that and um, found a setting, um, boot type or something it said, boot something it said, not boot order, but boot something else, and uh, I switched it back to legacy, or switched it to legacy, um, and it's booted ever since. The touchpad mouse still doesn't work, but that doesn't matter because I prefer an external mouse, anyway, which is down there somewhere. I look ever so dark on camera. Hang on. Oh, that's better. There it is. I'll just use that with this uh, little laptop. I've got that rear light up here. Shoot me. I don't know if that's coming up. Not very clear, is it? Oh, you can just about see it. Shoots laser lines on the road. I don't know. I think you can see it better there. You get one that it's meant to shine either side of you, which are actually on the wonk. They can also flash. I think it's just got a standard sort of LED light. The annoying thing with these LED lights is you have to click through all the flash sequences it has loaded onto it before you can turn it off. <laughs> and that is, to me, that is just annoying. It's fun because you can pick whatever flash sequence you want. But it's still annoying when you want to turn it off. And, uh, yeah, so <clears throat> that's one of the things I've been doing today. But, uh, I've got a shopper bike in the bedroom. I've got a mountain bike in the bedroom. I've got someone coming to, well, at least look at the lady's mountain bike I've got for sale. So I've got to get up and... Uh, Fixed a flat tyre and changed the chain on it, which I'm going to steal off that Saracen bike. 
that I swapped with my friend for the Alienware laptop that I had. Because uh, that Saracen needs a lot of work anyway to get it in a sellable condition, so I figured I might as well just pinch the chain off of that and um, a tube out of the wheel. Anyway, there's a little shop where I'm working on at the moment. Um, the original gear lever was naffed. Um, so I had to cut that end off the gear cable because it was a permanently fixed screw thread. I don't actually know what they call it. With a bit that basically connects the gear cable to the toggle chain. Um, just to get the cable off because the cable was naffed as well so or it's naffed up at the gear lever because it chewed it so I found this grip shift style which doesn't clamp on the handlebar very well <coughs> um, but it's not actually shifting between three gears and as you can see it moves um, so I've got a, I'm probably just gonna stick an ordinary gear lever on that I think I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet, but I think that's what I'm going to do. <coughs> but, <coughs> when I went to put this gear cable on, I went to screw it to the original wheel, because that's not the original back wheel. You can't tell the difference, because it's identical. It's got the same tyre on it, at least. <coughs> um, the mechanism that the cable linked to, because it wasn't a toggle chain, it was some sort of other mechanism, <laughs> the thread was too big and none of the um, little connectors I had um, would fit on it so I had to change the back wheel so I could just use a standard toggle chain but uh, yeah that is only going between um, two gears at the minute but I don't know if that's the problem or if the wheel's the problem or what's the problem at the moment uh, so I've got to look into that, look in the, into that tomorrow I've bought some handlebar grips up for this because it needed them replaced and really apart from just resetting that rear brake because I had to release that to get the wheel out yeah aside from that <coughs> and uh, sorting the gears out it doesn't need a lot, it needs a clean but uh, I've got to leave the rusty mud guards on as they are <laughs> <laughs> Just because I can. Uh, and sort some dynamo lights out. It's got to have dynamo lights on. <clears throat> All three of them have got to have dynamo lights. I might change that saddle as well because that does not look very comfortable. If I remember rightly, it's not very comfortable. <laughs> right. That's the one I've been working on for a customer. When he dropped it off, it had no chain. It's still got no chain because I haven't got that far yet. It hasn't got any rear gears because the rear gear cable had either been cut or snapped. I'm not sure. Same with the front gears. Same with the brake cable. There was no rear brake cable attached. The only one attached and sort of semi-functioned was the front brake. I say semi-functioned because <laughs> you pulled the brake on, it stayed on, so... I have actually sorted the brakes. They work. The front gears have sorted. They work. So it's just the rear gears and the chain. And I think the chain's going to be the biggest problem because I don't think I've got one. Uh, well, I have, but it's crap and I'm not putting that on it. But uh, I'm sure I'll uh, come up with something for it. <coughs> I'll clear my throat a little bit. Uh, I've got that tricycle to get ready for a friend so she can pick it up this week if she wants to of course um, it's perfectly fine up the corner where it is it's not going to go anywhere and I don't think anyone will complain about it up there <coughs> if they do, tough shit um, but what I need to do to that I've got to change the front forks because originally it had an ele a motorised front wheel in it. Because it was an electric trike. But I had the electric assist on it. 
Um, so the forks are far too wide for a standard 20 inch wheel. And the way my friend got a wheel in there, he put one in like a BMX wheel with an extra long axle, <clears throat> you know, so they BMXs could put on the bloody stunt pegs and whatnot, and then put like 10 spaces either side. <laughs> so the wheel sat in the middle. Uh, but the problem with that as well, we couldn't fit a V brake on the front because it wouldn't reach the wheel rim because the forks are too wide. So I'm going to change that because that front wheel would be, well, as it is, it's done a lot of damage to the existing front wheel anyway. So it's just put more strain on the axle and the bearings. Mm -hmm. My computer agrees. <laughs> um, anyway. That's why I'm going to change the fork so we can get a brake on it because the rear one's not working at the minute. But I'm not sure if it's seized up altogether or if it's just the brake cable. The gears, they were working. <clears throat> um, the biggest issue are the axle bearings. They have gone on the left side. Right side seems okay, left side's Got the wobble, a very bad wobble actually. Um, so you might be able to ride it back, um, but I don't know how easy it's going to be. Um, I would have kept it for myself, but I don't get on with the trikes because it only drives the one wheel, it only drives the right hand wheel, which means if you don't, you know, counteract that wheel wanting to throw you off into the hedge you'll um, just go round in circles and I just kept going round in circles I could not get used to it no matter what I did which is why I got rid of it in the first place but now um, a friend of mine has got his driver's license he doesn't really need that to um, tow his bike trailers with because he's going to get himself a little van and whatnot eventually it's just sort of surplus to requirements so he when I was there last week, he just said, do you want it? <laughs> so, at first I was like, nah, I've got nowhere to put it. And then I thought of uh, my other friend, who I know wants a trike. And I thought, well, we've got an ideal project sitting there. So, I took it. <laughs> and uh, we could motorise it quite easy. You know, everything is there, already there to do it. All we would have to do is mount the electric motor, which I've got in the cupboard. We find a way to mount that and a chain, and obviously the correct sprockets and whatnot, and throttle control and a power supply, and we're good. You know, the mechanics are already there and set up. We've just got to fix those bearings, that's all. <clears throat> you know, hey presto, Bob's your uncle, mm. Fanny's your aunt, motorised trike again. And there's even room on the back to put a storage box or something on there. Which would actually be a pretty handy. You little fucking shit. That hurt. <laughs> Molly gives a shit, look. He's just hurt me. He's like, mm, I don't care. I'm just going to sit here. I'm the boss. You're a friggin' asshole when you want to be. Don't you turn your back on me. Oi. I'm talking to you. Shithead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Them sounds on Facebook have impeccable timing. They really do. <laughs> uh. Uh, oh, I've got to fix the flat tyre on that trike as well. It's got a mudguard missing, but we can just get some um, metal mudguards off a couple of old shopping bikes or something. In fact, I know I've got a couple. Drill three holes in them and, uh, well, actually, we could just replace the missing one like that and uh, paint them up. So they both match. We'll just respray the whole truck if we really wanted to. I'm up for anything. If you, if you wanted it resprayed, I'd come over and respray it. <clears throat> uh, I've sh 
should have one to fit on the front wheel. Oh, actually, no, that one won't because of the type of forks I'm using. Damn. <laughs> um, but, having said that, there is other things I can do. I may actually have to cut one down because it's meant for a full-size bike, but we can get a mudguard on there because it's never nice getting a face full of water. I don't mind me back so much, it's when you're riding along and it's all just splashing up in your face, it's just horrible. <clears throat> uh, if you wanted lights on it, I suppose we could... Well, we could put dynamo lights on, but run them from a rechargeable 6 volt battery, so... All you'd have to do is get a couple of 6 volt batteries that are rechargeable and, uh, you know, charge them both up. When one goes dead, you put the replacement in and put the other one on charge. And just have a main switch on the handlebars so you can just turn them on and off. <coughs> That'd be easy enough to do. <laughs> you just give me a really funny look. <laughs> for tech talk. My brother's computer is having USB issues. Well, unless he's fixed them, he was having USB issues. Mm -hmm. In the BIOS, <clears throat> when he checks, it's recognising keyboard, it's recognising the mouse is detected, and when I was there, he left a USB flash drive in one of the USB sockets, and it detected a mass storage device. But as soon as you boot into Windows, the only things working are the keyboard and mouse. Anything else you plug in at the USB ports, nothing. His wireless, nothing. USB flash drive, nothing. It, even the card reader, USB card reader, that is not being picked up. And we're just having trouble figuring out why. He did contact MSI and they said to put the jumper on the pins on the motherboard to reset the motherboard and reset the BIOS so we did that and I held it on there for 10 seconds um, <coughs> then he had to go into the BIOS and reset the defaults which he did and that didn't help and that is actually a problem that's beyond me you know I'm fairly good with computers, but I'm not brilliant, I would say. You know, I'm not an expert. There's still lots of things that I don't know about, and that's got me stumped. Um, I'm sure we'll think of something, though. Um, but he was going to, or he had contacted MSI again for some, you know tech help but I don't know if they've replied yet because he contacted them yesterday actually uh... can't think of anything else now I think I've covered everything I just thought I'd uh Instead of trying to squeeze everything into one vlog, I just thought I'd pick something, you know, and just use that as the theme for the vlog sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, I think I've covered everything technical that I can think of, and mechanical, I suppose. Uh, so I'm going to continue with that shopper bike tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Might try and find a chain for that mountain bike tomorrow, then that will just leave me the gears. I haven't got a gear cable long enough, otherwise I'd do it, I'm going to have to get one. Actually, before I forget, when I uh, shut the camera down, I'm going to just wrap that parcel up and get that done. So that can go out tomorrow. Um, yeah. I think I pretty much got tomorrow planned. So, thanks a lot for watching. 
If you like the video, then please hit the like button. It's much appreciated. And uh, if you didn't, hit the dislike button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, then feel free to subscribe. And again, thanks in advance if you do. And I'll... Uh, might talk to you again tomorrow. Depends what I get up to. So, um, talk to you later.